Okay, welcome back everybody. We're back on this uh, 2024 Kenworth W900. We're trying to make it into a logging truck. And um, in this episode here, we're going to see if we can figure out um, this head rack. I'm going to start here on the right side because this is the seems to be the more difficult side because of this depth tank. It's kind of got me a little bit in a funk here trying to figure this out. Um, so I think I'm just going to start drilling and see what happens. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think I, I did cover up the markings, but uh, I put the front side of the head rack, I put uh, six inches away from the cab. So... Uh, it's you can't see the mark, but it's going to be about right here is the front of the head rack. Um, and I like I said, I would like to mount it on an, uh, the outside angle because uh, if you want to remove it for some reason or another, it's a little bit easier to do. We'll make the outside angle and then we'll put probably four bolts or something here to hold it down so what my plan is now is i've got my piece of angle here um don't quite have it i think i might move it up a little bit more so it's about even with the back of the cab and um i left it long i had a i have two pieces that are 48 inches long so i'm just going to build them uh that way and then i'll come back and cut them because i'm just i'm just not seeing where I want it. So what I'm going to do is just leave those long for now. And once I get the head rack in position and kind of uh, figure that out, I'm still waiting for a toolbox that goes in between here. So um, just kind of got to get all the parts here to make a, to where we can make a final decision on where to cut it. I just don't want to cut these too short, you know? So like I said, First wing we did, we loosened up this def tank. I got the two bottom bolts in it, supported it with the floor jack, and got our 3 8 angle iron all clamped in place. Um, it's getting close to the end of the day here, so I think I'm just going to leave this overnight, sleep on it one more time, and come back in the morning. And um, if I like it, I'm going to uh, center punch... The holes, there's, I think there's five. There's three right here, and there's two in the def tank. And I'm just going to center punch those, drill them, and I'll put it back up there. I On my other truck, I notched these out so that you could get to these bolts here. If this tank needed to be taken off, you wouldn't have to, like, take this frame bolts out. Um, so I'm planning on doing that as well to this one. Um, the biggest issue that I'm finding is if the head rack is here, uh, I kind of wanted to have a bolt, you know, at the front here, but that it's going to be way up here. Uh, so I'm kind of, kind of a little bit baffled here what to do. And maybe I don't need to notch this out so much. As long as you can get these bolts out, I think this just comes off. Uh, maybe these lines... You know, maybe this will be enough room. So that's something I'll just have to think about. Uh, so anyway, um, like I said, I'll fill you in here when I actually make a decision. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got those holes center punched, I believe. Um, we've got four or five to drill. I uh, had to measure the rear one because we could not get that uh, transfer punch in. So we'll go ahead and drill these. We'll put it back up on the frame, test fit it, make sure it fits, pull it back off, and then we'll dr uh, drill some of the holes in the piece for the driver's side.
All right, we got those holes drilled. I've been taking my 5 8 reamer and running through these. I'm using a 5 8 cutter. Um, I have an 11 16 but it's kind of dull. So I've been using my 5 8 but I have a 5 8 reamer. I've been running them, running through these holes when I'm done just to, uh, it seems like you can get just a little bit uh, extra. And just, like I said, very minute that it takes off. I don't know, it just cleans them up a little bit, gives you a little more wiggle room. So we'll smooth this out with a grinder and uh, put it on, see if it fits. Not sure how well it's gonna fit because like I said, I had to measure this back one. So hoping it um, fits all right. Grind some burgers off. We'll put it back on and uh, see how bad it looks. So I ran the reamer through this one and uh, this number, this one here, and it goes a little, goes better. So just a little, little bit off. Um, now, what we should be able to do is we'll use this as a template for other holes. So we can measure, we can mark the three here we can mark this one and this one and this one because they're the same on the other side and then we'll come up let's see this one here for the def tank doesn't appear to be on the other side but this one should be up here because it is the back bolt of this cross member so it should be able to use that one i'm gonna go over and double check it here go around to the other side should be should be the same the cross member is that one there so yeah should be able to use this bolt and these three so we'll drill those in our next piece and then We'll loosen all this stuff up <clears throat> and we'll set it down in there and then we'll have these bolts to hold it down. Then we can mark the rest of the holes, take it back off and drill it. So like I've said, I'm, you know, there's probably better ways of doing this, but this is the way that I'm going to do it. So it's a little bit of a process and taking the pieces off and on and stuff but i'm just trying to make sure my holes are as lined up as possible i don't want to have you know to egg out the holes or something like that to get these pieces to fit so that's what i'm going to do like i said i'll mark this next piece and get those holes drilled and then probably the next time i'll update you we'll have this on we'll have to i don't know what i'm gonna do with the fuel tank here if i'm gonna probably just try to i don't know how much fuel's in it but I'll probably just um, maybe empty as much fuel out as I can. I'm thinking of leave, I should just leave it hooked to the straps um, and just take it loose off the frame. If I get enough fuel out of it, maybe I can just take it loose, leave the bottom bolts in and swing these spacers out so I can set this in. So believe those are three eight so this side here actually might make out pretty good yeah they look to be three eight thick spacers so what i'll end up doing is we'll put this angle iron on and i won't have to make any spacers i can just use these i'll just trim them at the wherever this angle iron is on the frame we'll take the spacer out cut it and put it back in 
and then I'll actually end up with uh, some extra spacers so that's cool maybe that's a good I didn't even just thought of that so maybe they'll be long enough to use on the passenger side for the def tank because I'll need two spacers over there so I should end up should have enough so that's that'll be great all right I'm gonna get to drilling again all right we're back and we're working on this passenger side um, angle mount for the head rack and this is the second attempt I notched this back this way here uh, too far on another piece and I didn't like the way it looked so I got another I got a new piece so this is take two on this piece um, so we're gonna try notching this out and then we'll put it back on here and um, see if it fits better yeah I just like I said I wasn't happy with the first one I made so uh, gonna remake it this I'm not um, super excited about this mount yet so yet um, uh, hope it doesn't look bad uh, just it's been kind of stumbling for me to figure this out but I'm like I gotta quit uh, quit screwing around and get this thing done so i'm going to build it this way and um hope for the best <laughs> so uh let's i'm going to go ahead and cut this out plasma it out and we'll see what it looks like all right we got it set up on my uh forklift workbench here um we're gonna notch this out and i got a little uh piece of flat iron here set up for a guide I think it looks pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of things we can mess up today Bad. Looks pretty good, huh? Looks pretty good. Now we'll just come and I'll make that better with the grinder and uh, and we'll test fit it. So this is our passenger side piece, and as you can tell, we have it notched out. It's still pretty snug, um, but I was able to get it off. Uh, or get it out of there. So um, I still may grind this a little bit more um, But I did gr uh, drill the top So my next step here is um, I'm gonna cut a piece of my 3 8 plate The length of this angle which is about 41 inches So we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna put it on here and drill the holes on that plate bolt that plate to this and then I will true up the ends make sure the ends are even on the plate and round this top edge corner and I think I'm gonna round that corner there so we've got our the outside angle piece down below that we were making and then I got a piece of 3 8 flat on top and that's what we're gonna weld the head rack to but I got that notched out holes are drilled uh, rounded the corner here just just ever so slightly I, I'm not sure I might come back and take a little more off that but um, I don't know it's good for now so I think this piece is ready to put on 
Um, so we're gonna put this back on the frame and then it should be good. I'll tight, I'll uh, put it on and we'll tighten up the bolts temporarily. We'll get the depth tank squared up back on and then this side will be done. And then we're gonna move over to the driver's side there. And that one should go a little faster. Just have to cut it to length and make the flat top. I don't have to notch nothing on that side. All right, so I lost the footage, or I guess I did not record any of the footage of the driver's side and putting the head rack on the truck. I know I did it, but I cannot find it. So I'm gonna skip ahead in the progress. These are the um, head rack uh, support that they give you when they when they give you the head rack. Um, so they're just some triangle pieces and we'll, I got these all tack welded on. I think good enough to hold it. Um, I don't like welding too much when it's on the truck because I'm always nervous about uh, melting any of the wires and hoses and stuff. So um, I did a tack job where I, I'm pretty sure it'll hold, but not too much. So I want to take it off. I'll take it off and then um, finish welding finish welding all this up and uh, yeah hopefully it'll uh, turn out nice I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick weld it or wire feed weld it probably stick weld it just because I don't know why but that's I'm a little more comfortable with that so that's probably what I'll end up doing so it looks pretty good um, I'm gonna make this angle piece here I'm gonna drill some holes in it uh, that are the for this bolt and that bolt and then when I take it off I will bolt this piece of angle down to the plates just to help hold it in place so it doesn't uh, I don't know if it'll move or not but uh, just something I thought I would do <clears throat> just to try to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to be okay we got this pulled the head rack off the truck and uh, that way I can go ahead and um, finish welding this baby together. Got the update here for you on the head rack. We got all the uh, triangles here all welded. The head rack's all welded up. Uh, went ahead and used my the little wire feed welder, and uh, I think it'll be okay. It, it does a lot better uh, weld beads, so I we'll use the wire feed on that. And I was measuring it. There's about a hundred inches of weld on each side, so I don't think she's going to go nowhere. And I probably should have mentioned this way earlier in the video, but this head rack uh, came from General Trailer uh, Parts out of Springfield, Oregon. Uh, they build the General log dollies and log bunks and head racks. They build all sorts of stuff there. Um, and it's just got the style that I like. They have a, their main office is Springfield, Springfield, Oregon, but they have some satellite stores uh i know there's one in redding california i think there's two other ones one up in oregon one in washington i'm not really sure where they are but anyway all of my stuff comes from redding so i can just call up there to redding and ask what i want and then they will bring it down to the shop they'll deliver it they come down uh, every other week and bring parts down to all the truckers down here so it's actually a pretty really cool service that they do and uh, makes it nice and they have a lot of supply of I mean they have everything I'm glad their store is not closer here to my house because I'd probably spend too much money more money than I already do with with them all right we finally got this head rack test fit on the truck so here's what she ends up looking like uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, I think it's gonna work okay. 
um, might just be a tad bit low on the passenger side it looked okay when I tacked it but now the more I look at it it looks like it might be a tad bit low but uh, that's okay it, it's okay if it ain't perfect because I don't think anybody's truck is perfect so but anyway yeah that's uh what she looks like we I went ahead and just used my wire feed on this so the welds look a little bit better a little nicer than the stick weld um, put some strapping across here one was to hold uh, when you pick this up off the bolts it kind of wants to squeeze in a little bit so I put some strapping on to hold it and then this will also be my toolbox mounts here the four holes I drilled uh, drilled them and put some uh, 3 8 nuts on the bottom so those are welded nuts so I'll be able to put the toolbox on uh, put this piece of angle in the back here because uh, eventually when I wire it I was thinking it would just be a place for the wire to uh, lay and I could put um, some cushion clamps on it or something so that's what I'm thinking there um, put a ground stud on I don't know if you need that but I figured I would have a spot for some grounds so um but yeah uh, up here we've got these will be for the trailer connections up high this is going to be a little bit short it's going to reach but it's kind of i don't know if i'll be able to run the uh cord over to the side like i wanted but it's okay we'll make it work um welded a tab on here for another load light so i'll have four two on the bottom two on the top and uh, let's go around this side. Show you what it looks like on this side. And I just have it temp. Don't have all the bolts in, but everything fits. The bolts still line up. Um, so it looks pretty good. I even drilled out for the lights, three lights. Those are already drilled. So pretty much when it gets painted, it's yeah it's ready for paint just put it on and i won't have to drill holes for lights or anything so um oh one more thing i wanted to show you let's see what it what it looks like a little bit of a you get the bunk in the background there and we still got a long ways to go and a short time to do it <laughs> but um so we did notch this out for the def tank uh and i kind of had a little um I don't know why but I notched this out on my 990 and I thought was what we needed to do and then I did this one as well after I did it I went down to the dealership and I was looking at a sleeper truck who had the def tank but the sleeper was over the top of it and I'm like well shoot you can't service that one either without taking it off so maybe this was a complete waste of time I don't know why I never thought of that but sometimes the stupidest things you just or i seem to overlook sometimes so maybe maybe this was a waste of time but it's uh all said and done already we're not going back so <laughs> we're just going to leave it that way um but anyway i think that's going to do it for this video so here's the head rack install on the 2024 w900 um it's going to look pretty good and that head rack i am going to paint white I'm pretty sure I'm going to do white head rack and um, pretty sure. So with that, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know what you think of this project so far. And uh, I'll see you guys on uh, the next video, whatever that might be.